Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Morning, you guys welcome back to Ashley's homestead adventures at our farm here in Arkansas as you can see the animals are settling in really nicely um, and today the project is uh, whew, it's really bright out here um, the project is to actually take the pins that the animals are in right now and get them moved inside. We have rain in the forecast. It's going to rain tomorrow and Sunday. And these animals haven't experienced Arkansas rain. Um, I believe that the saying cats and dogs, raining cats and dogs, I'm pretty sure it was developed somewhere in the south. Um, it rains here like buckets. Like it's just, it's not what we're used to in Oregon or even in Colorado. I mean, maybe a little bit uh, where I came from in Colorado. I grew up there and we had a monsoon season in the spring and yeah, you know, maybe it's a little close, but it pours here, just straight down sheets of water. Um, we are going to take these, these pens that are behind me, that the animals are in right now, and move them into the barn. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you what we need to do before that can happen. Little side note, there's our hay. In real life, it's right there. It came off of our pasture. How exciting is that, you guys? I'm just stoked about that. Um, so this whole side of the barn, which this is the south side of the barn, and it would be, we are standing at the back of the barn. The shop is up there in the front. And this whole side here, I'm going to, this, this is where I'm gonna put these stalls. So all of this crap needs to leave. 
and I am going to, some of it I will save, cinder blocks, save those. I'm not even sure I could move those gates, but if I can, I'm saving them. Um, the fencing, I'll save the fencing. But everything else, you know, needs to go. And so I will load it up in the stock trailer. I've got it parked outside. And get that hauled off. Get the pins put in. And get some bedding in them. And then tonight I can move the animals inside to where when it starts pouring down rain at 6 o'clock in the morning, they are dry. <laughs> We've gotten the, all the crap cleaned up out of these. It would be, I mean, it's got the potential to be seven stalls, but I'm just gonna make it into two stalls. But it's this entire back side of the barn. Um, so we've gotten all of the crap out of here and it is loaded in the a trailer to go to the dump. Now I need to go through and rake it, check for any, you know, little pieces of stuff that I have missed and uh, clean it out, try to get some of this powder because this used to be an old chicken farm. This is a chicken farm barn that's been converted and so it's just 
it's it's like talcum powder I mean it's just really really fine stuff and it's really dusty and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and rake as much of that out as I can and get the panel set up and then we'll bed it and then we can add animals got the sheet pin up and velvet's pin up and I still have enough panels for on nice days until I get 
the big sheep pasture done, the sheep can go out here and have some sunshine uh, and graze. And I can actually move these panels fairly easy if they graze this all the way down. I can, you know, rotate it around until I get their big, their big pasture up. Um, velvet's easy. I'm just gonna pick up some uh, hot wire, um, portable hot wire stuff. And she just needs one, one string of hot wire. She's super easy. So I'm gonna get their waters moved in, get some bedding in there, and then I can get them moved in. This is why the sheep are so hard to record. Anywho, there it is. Took me all day, but we got the kids inside, undercover. We're ready for the rain. velvet is comfortable. She's a nice big stall, nice and deep bedded. Fresh water, a new mineral lick, and I'm gonna feed dinner. If I can set my phone somewhere that the sheep won't get to it and you can still see. <laughs> I also need to clean up my mess.
So thank you guys for watching this video and supporting our new adventures on our new farm and uh, watching as I get yet another project done. I got the sheep and I got velvet inside and that feels really, really good uh, with the storms that are coming. Feels good to know that they're gonna be dry and warm. So I will see you guys on the next one. I'm gonna go take a shower. Yours truly.